Hi everybody, welcome back. It is time for another round of Do Yoga with Gail. So let's do some yoga. Unroll your mat, grab a couple of blocks or a strap, bolster, pillow, blanket, anything that you might want to use as props. Don't sweat it if you don't have them, that's okay. Please remember to modify your practice as it makes sense. Deep breaths, the rest of it will play by ear. Let's get started. Starting in a comfortable seated position on the mat, let yourself settle into space. Reaching the left arm out, take your fingertips right above the right ear. Your left ear softens to the left shoulder. Keep looking straight ahead, then just your eyes look off to the right side. Take five deep breaths. Returning your left hand to the leg. We'll go the other way. Take the right arm forward. Take your fingertips, settle them just above your left ear. Your right ear now softens toward the right shoulder. Your face is still looking forward. Just your eyes look toward the left. Take another five deep breaths in and out through the nose. Return back to neutral, the right hand on the leg, letting both hands rest on the legs, either palms down or up, and just maybe close the eyes. See how everything's feeling. Just observing the breath, letting it move through the body. Start coming up onto your hands and knees, removing any props to the side. Starting from a neutral position on hands and knees, we'll do five sets of cat and cow. Starting with a nice slow inhale as you arch. It'll be the exhale rounding down following the breath, maybe even closing the eyes as you proceed, hollowing out the belly as you round, inhaling, arching, lifting the tailbone, deep breaths.
returning to a neutral spine, extend the right leg back, lifting the right leg, start extending the left arm forward, thumb up, either holding it right here or put a bend in the right knee, reach the left hand back, kick into the foot. Three deep breaths, nice back bend, shoulder opener, soften the space between the eyebrows. Releasing the right leg back, left arm forward, left hand down, send the right knee back to the right side, left leg, sweep it back, lift, reaching the right arm forward, thumb up, either holding here or bend the back knee, reach the right hand back, kick into your hand. Going for the shoulder opener, the heart opener, three breaths. When you return back to center, just take an extended cat pose as you round down, breathing up between the shoulder blades, relax the head down, maybe gently stretch a little side to side. Spread the fingers wide, start setting up your first down dog of the day. Hips up and back, feel free to walk out the feet, stretching out the legs. Give yourself a few deep breaths as you do that. Soften the knees, look forward, step your feet to the front of the mat and fold over the legs. Step your right foot to the little toe side of your left foot so the right leg crosses over in front. Relax the head down, just fold. Let the arms soften, the hands soften. Switching sides, replace the right foot on the right side. Go the other way, placing the left foot now to the little toe side of the right. Continue rounding, relax the head down, just let it go, no crease in the back of the neck. Returning your left foot to the left side, begin slowly rolling up to stand. With a big inhale, sweep the arms around overhead, Grab the right wrist with the left hand as you stretch up and over to the left side. It'll be an inhale returning you to center, then go the other way as you grab the left wrist, stretching to the right. Inhale, return to center, then dive over the legs with your exhale, soften the knees. Lift the chest on the inhale, stepping both feet back to plank pose. Lower the knees, chest and shin. Inhale, Bhujangasana, tops of the feet down, chest up. We'll meet in down dog. Enjoy a few deep breaths. Start bending at the knees, look forward. Walk or hop the feet lightly to the front. Lift the chest on the inhale, then exhale, round down. Maybe sway a little side to side, just hanging over the legs. Bring your feet together side by side, setting up Utkatasana chair pose, bend the knees deep, lift the arms. With your exhale, dive over the legs. Chest up on the inhale, lengthen the spine. With your exhale, either step to plank or jump it to chaturanga. We'll meet in downward facing dog, flowing back any way that suits you today.
On your inhale, lift the right leg all the way up, reach. Exhale, step the foot through, warrior one, Virabhadrasana, back heel spins down. Lift the arms all the way to the sky, bringing palms together as best you can. Pressing through the legs, lift out of the waist, turn the left toes in slightly more. Start to lengthen forward, reaching forward. Keep the palms together. Keep the bend in the right knee. Bring your fingertips toward the right toes. Relax the head down, slowly straightening the right leg. Don't worry if the right leg doesn't want to straighten all the way. Just do the best you can. Relax the toes, Parsvottanasana. Put a bend in the front knee again. Start to slowly return all the way up for warrior one. Then open out the arms for warrior two. Drop the shoulders, but keep the arms nice and strong. It'll be an inhale, reversing the warrior. Sweep the right arm straight up toward the sky. Exhale, lower the hands, low lunge. Take it back to downward facing dog. Either hold or flow through your plank and chaturanga. Meeting back and down dog. Switching up the sides, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step your foot through the hands, warrior one, Virabhadrasana. Right heel pivots down, arms to the sky. Keep lifting out of the waist as the legs press down, finding length. Keeping the palms pressing together as you start lengthening forward. Keep the left knee bending. Reach the fingertips all the way toward your left toes. Soften the head down. Parsvottanasana. Start straightening the left leg as best you can. Soften a bend in the left knee as you lengthen all the way back up, arms overhead, warrior one. Open out the arms for warrior two. Look over the left middle finger. Lengthen the tailbone as the crown of the head reaches up. Inhale, sweep the left arm over, reversing the warrior. On your exhale, lower the hands, take low lunge. Step it back to downward facing, either holding it here or flowing through the plank, chaturanga, up dog, meeting back in downward facing dog. When you return to down dog, lower the knees, take a child's pose for a rest, three deep breaths. Come back to hands and knees. Return to downward facing dog. With your inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhaling, step to low lunge, foot through the hands. Bring both hands inside the right foot. Coming into your wide legged fold toward the left side, walk your hands toward the left facing the side of the room. Grabbing your big toes in yogi toe lock, fold over the legs, lengthening the spine as the crown of the head reaches toward the mat, the sit bones lift high. If the knees need to bend a little, let them, that's okay. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, releasing the toes. Setting up Navasana transition. Keep your left hand down, step your left foot toward the front of the mat, sit bones meet the mat, lift your feet, bending at the knees, let your arms extend forward on opposite sides of the legs. Deep breaths.
start crossing at the ankles as you come forward onto hands and knees, setting up pigeon pose. The right knee forward, left leg back. Sit tall, modifying on the back if you need, the reverse figure four. Or if you're good here, start walking the hands out, lower the forehead down, three deep breaths. Keep the shoulders softening, relaxing the fingertips and the toes, surrendering up to the stretch. Releasing out as you walk the hands back in, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Switching out the sides, inhale the left leg up, Step, low lunge, left hand inside the left foot, walk both hands toward the right, taking your wide-legged fold toward the right side of the room. Feet are parallel, let your hands reach to the outer edges of the feet, gently pulling the crown of the head toward the mat, sit bones high. Lengthening along the spine, deep breaths. It'll be an inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, releasing your hands toward the mat, setting up once again for your Navasana transition. Keep your right hand down this time, stepping your right foot toward the front of the mat as your sit bones meet the mat, lifting your feet, bending the knees, reach the arms forward, deep breaths. Start crossing at the ankles, come forward to hands and knees. Left knee forward this time, right leg back for pigeon. Modifying, of course, if you need. If you're otherwise good to go, find length as you lift. Then exhale, walk the hands out, lower the forehead down, keeping your hips level as best you can. We don't wanna slide off to the left or to the right. Try to keep things centered as best you can. Watch the breath. Start to walk the hands back in. Come onto your hands and knees. Then have a seat on your heels. Feel free to grab a block between the heels if that's better for the knees. Otherwise, we'll start setting up Virasana. Don't forget to separate the feet a little bit, creating some space so your sit bones are better able to reach the mat. Walk the hands back a little bit, maybe slightly come off the heels. See if that gives you a nice stretch for the quads. Lengthen the tailbone, almost slightly scooping the tailbone to get the quad stretch. If you wanna work it a little deeper, Start bending the elbows, lowering one elbow at a time to the mat. Drop the head back. Keep the chest lifting for the heart opening stretch. Keep the tailbone slightly scooping for the lengthening along the quads. Deep breaths. Releasing out easy, one hand at a time, one elbow at a time. Come off your heels, sweep the legs around front, sit tall, setting up Dandasana staff pose. Flex the feet so your toes curl back toward you, arms alongside the body. The heels of your hands should line up with your hips. Start to press the backs of the knees toward the mat as your heels lift off the mat. Five deep breaths. Mm -hmm. 
let your heel soften toward the mat again, setting up Paschimottanasana. Inhale, lift the arms high as you reach. Exhale, come forward and grab your feet. Grab toes or heels, whatever is a reasonable grip for you. Feel free to grab a strap or a belt if that's gonna be a better way to get to your feet. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, release the feet. Ardha Matsyandrasana, bend the right knee. Stepping your right foot outside the left leg, slide the right arm back, sit tall, twist to your right, three deep breaths. It'll be an inhale returning you to center, then an exhale giving you a brief counter stretch to the left side. When you come back to center, release the right leg, bring the soles of the feet together, sit tall, Baddha Konasana, hold on to the tops of the feet, either sit tall and stay or lengthen forward if there's room to do so. With an inhale, start releasing, come up. Bring the knees back together, extend the right leg out. Step your left foot to the outside of the right leg for Ardha Matsyandrasana. Twisting left, three deep breaths. It'll be an inhale taking you to center, then an exhale counter stretching briefly to the right. Return your left foot to the left side, bend the knees, soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana, one more set. Maybe leaning a little more forward this time if there's room to do so. Deep breaths. Holding the knees back together again, sit tall, then lay back on the mat. Feel free to hug in the knees, maybe rock a little, maybe take a happy baby pose if that's a nice release for you. As we continue winding things down, let your feet meet the mat, either keeping the knees together with the feet slightly separated with the hands resting on the belly to go for the nice low back release. You can hold it here several deep breaths, unless you'd rather take an inversion today to complete your practice. Either staying on your back for Sarvangasana shoulder stand or rolling forward onto hands and knees, setting up Shirshasana headstand. Enjoy 10 deep breaths, moving mindfully wherever you are. Stay present, take your time. If you're upside down, start releasing out. And if you're in headstand like I was, take child's pose, five deep breaths, or from shoulder stand, you'll release into fish pose, Matsyasana, five deep breaths.
And if you're on the back with the knees bending, start to shuffle the feet in, hug the knees in. Let's all meet up now on the back, laying on the mat, extending out the legs, coming into Shavasana, your final relaxation. Closing the eyes, turning the palms up, just letting go, releasing into space. Soften the space between the eyebrows, unclenching the jaw, just letting go. Nowhere to go, nowhere to be. Just allow this time so you can restore. Your body has the chance to recover so you feel better stepping off the mat than when you first stepped on. Bringing awareness back to the body, maybe wiggle fingers and toes, or gently turn the head left a little right. Deepening the breath, reach the arms overhead for a nice waking stretch. Then hug the knees in toward the chest one more time. Roll slowly to the side keeping the eyes closed a little bit longer, return back up to a comfortable seated position on the mat, bringing palms together at the heart, relaxing your chin to your chest. Taking another opportunity as you connect to the breath, maybe revisiting your intention, sealing your practice as you choose. Thank you again for joining me today. Namaste.